Isaiah, Isaiah, YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's an early morning at that. It's still dark outside. Sorry for the quality of the video, but on the way to the gym, then headed to work. But either way, if it's your first time rocking with the ball, <laughs> be the K-I-N-G, S-P-R, double three. That'd be me, King Spree. Man, you locked in with the real estate, see me? Reporting live, Sin City. Oh, my bad. We ain't in Sin City no more, Rich. Reporting live from Savannah, Georgia. Decatur, where it's crazy. Or whatever Lloyd said. The weather about 64 degrees outside. Can't tell if there's any clouds in the sky, but praise of the Mose eye. And baby, you've been patiently waiting for a tractor to explode on. That's the hammer down. But anyway, um, that mixtape coming soon, and I promise you gonna love it. So randomly, <clears throat> I was watching some videos about um, travel nursing. Uh, for those that don't know, I am in Savannah, Georgia. Um, down, I downsized uh, a good amount, um, cutting my debts, going back to school for nursing. So you can become a registered nurse. Um, and my plans are to do travel nursing for a while once I graduate as well as move to Las Vegas, back to Las Vegas, and possibly California. I know I'll be working in California regardless. I just don't know if I'm gonna live in California full time or live in Las Vegas and then travel back and forth to Cali. For those that are saying, how what are you talking about? That, that's a whole, a whole different state. There's ways to do it. But anyway, um, so I'm watching this video and it's this dude He's been a nurse for, and I forgot the name of the video, so I would say it, but this dude's been a nurse for about 14 years. Over the last five years, he's been doing travel contracts with his family. And he's been driving state to state in his RV, living in his RV, and essentially being able to uh, become debt-free as well as live a very comfortable, if not beyond comfortable life, traveling state to state, picking up contracts, living in an RV. So that leads me to this. Two things, really. Number one is, let's talk about, well, they both are centered around adaptability. If you can adapt, you are gonna be somebody that's seen as more of a uh, asset to said company. Now, let's not get it twisted. The overall goal of the company, like I said in the other video, is to get as much work out of you as possible for as little as possible. So whether you're an asset or not, they're gonna try to maneuver on you. But that's where your education has to come in. That's where you as a go-getter, you as a hustler, and you as somebody that's been through not just school and, and formal education, but somebody that understands how the game of the medical field or the game of um, basically supply and demand works, right? And that's where your business acumen has to come in. If you have it, if you don't have it, learn it. Uh, I'm not saying I'm Mr. Business, but you get my point. So he's been traveling around, living in the RV. Now, somebody used to work with lived in an RV as well. And when you think about the RV, you think of like trailer park trash. You think of like, uh, what was that show? Joe Dirt kind of uh, maneuvers or Joe Dirt kind of uh, situations. But there are many a people living in small houses or tiny houses. Many a people living in RVs. Many a people are living an untraditional route and to be honest, the traditional route, man, it, it, not only does it cost too much, I'm not even sure if it's worth it in the long run. You got townhouses going for one, well, one million um, in Northern California and in other places around, around the country, 400, 500, 600,000 for a townhouse to get an actual home with a little bit of land and you know the whole traditional white picket fence route. You know, we talking about five, six, seven, eight million plus. And that's not in California. In California, we talk about a couple million. So is the traditional route for you? And can you adapt to a new situation? Now I know everybody's gonna have different opinions on what you can and cannot do. You got one life to live. 
You can't let a day go by. You got to do what you got to do that's going to be beneficial for you. Based on research, based on development, based on personality, based on circumstance, based on luck sometimes. Now, I make I don't I don't shy away from the truth. I brought the channel out to be as truthful as possible about my experience. I moved from Las Vegas living in a two bedroom apartment with my girlfriend, um, thinking about buying a home and, and planning for that. COVID happened. Finances shifted, not in a good way. And as a result, I found myself in, in a little bit of debt. So my plan originally was to move to Savannah, Georgia to cut the cost of living down. Then I, the second idea was that, and I also could be around family. Then about a week into the idea, somebody at work was like, you should just live with your mom and go back to school. And I was like, you know what? You're actually pretty right. Like that make perfect sense. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, and there's, tr I'll, I'll speak about another video of struggles that come with moving back in with your parents when you're an adult. It's a, it's a shift that like, it's hard to deal with depending on your parents' personality, or in this case, my mom's personality. Um, but anyway, can you adapt? And if you can, you will be seen as an asset to said company. Now me, I've been able to adapt. I've been able to be in situations that are really uncomfortable for most people and adapt well. My problem is, and it's probably the same problem that many millennials have, we didn't have much direction on which way to go. And with the turn of technology, we were trying different things and trying to figure this life thing out. And before you know it, you're 35 and you're working at UPS. No disrespect to the people that do that. So you are, as a millennial, you're able to adapt. You're able to pick up technology. You're able to, to do things that most most of your, your predecessors could not do, your parents and others. But because we've been like putting out energy in different things, we didn't have a stable career to build on, and that's why a lot of times our finances look the way they are. But I digress. Back to can you adapt, adaptability. I work all, I work around women all the time, and and older, younger, so on and so on, and they all have their various problems, and they all have their various concerns, the same way men do. But what I notice with women a lot is that they're unable to adapt to a world outside of their own. So the world they grew up in, the world that they're used to, where there's the boyfriend that likes them, so they cater, the husband cater, the dad cater, the uncle, brother, or potential suitors all cater, they don't really see a world where there's conflict. Then when they get into this medical profession and they got pe different personalities and different um, things they have to do and requirements and deadlines and this IV got to be done by this time and this drip, and that, by, before you know it, they're flustered every day. And they hate the profession because their inability to adapt. Now, that's not all women, but there's a lot of them. In matter of fact, it's most of them. There are some guys that do that too. It's, it's more of a how you grew up thing than it is a, a gender thing, but it just happens to be that women uh, operate in such a way. But that's not to bash a woman. What I'm trying to say is one's ability to adapt is extremely important in the grand scheme of profitability, comfortability, as well as all the other abilities you can have. Um, so back to the guy that was talking about he's going state to state, been doing it for the past five years. His wife doesn't work. It's just him working as they travel state to state. And I'm asking myself, could I do that? Is that something I can see myself doing for five, 10, whatever amount of years? Hell yeah. Now my plan once again is to live in Las Vegas, work in Cali, or just work in Cali and live in Cali. Depends on what's going on. But you want to build your life to be comfortable as well as be efficient and profitable. I can't dribble a ball. I can't sing a song. I can't act the movie. Well, maybe I could act, to be honest. But I, that that has passed me. I'm not I'm not the guy that blew his knee out. And I did that for people that... I'm not the guy that blew his knee out and couldn't make it to the league. There was no knee to blow out. Yeah, yeah, I did blow my knee out. But that's not why I didn't make it to the league. I'm just not good at basketball that way. I'm not, I can't rap a, a, a lyric that way. I can't sing a song that way. I'm not a, a genius. What I have and my abilities that I have is one, I'm pretty good in front of this lens. And then two, um, I'm able to really compartmentalize things and, and, and get jobs done. So I'm a worker. Now, can you, can you get into other things as a worker? Yeah, of course. That's what I'm trying. But for the most part, I'm a worker. And I can adapt very well. 
I can adapt very well. And the ones that can adapt are the ones that are going to see the profits. You might not be a billionaire off of adapting, though those guys adapt as well. But you can be somebody that's very successful in your community and in your family off just one's ability to adapt. Now, there's times when something happens and I get very upset and for a day, maybe even 48 hours, I'm, I'm upset and I don't wanna talk about it. I'm drained emotionally and physically, but then I wrap my mind around what's going on and I say, what do I need to do to get to the next uh, level? And then I do it. I just do it. We just drove across the country, three cars, three people. It's not a comfortable ride. But I do it. Who wants to live with their parents? Nobody. But I do it. Who wants to be in situations where they're constantly having to worry about, damn, the money ain't right. And now I'm going to take even less money so I can try to build for the future? But I do it. Damn, I just spent 80 grand on a degree. Now I got to go back to school? But I do it. If you can adapt, you can succeed. If you can adapt, you can be comfortable. If you can adapt, you can see the profits and fruits of your labor. If you cannot adapt, and don't be, don't be um, naive to your ability to adapt. You're not the person that can adapt if every time there's any bit of conflict, the tire pops, the oil needs changing, gas in the car, um, landlord made new changes to your circumstance and your rent. The job says you have five patients instead of four, and you flustered. You can't, you can't, uh, then you're not the one that can adapt. That's not you. Now, that doesn't mean you be taken advantage of. There's a fine line between adapting and getting taken advantage of. But you also got to, you have to adapt, man. Life won't always be comfort. Now, for the people that are drop dead gorgeous and they um, have assets physically, then they might be more comfortable than you and they might have to work as hard as you. But for the ones that really got to get it out the mud, or in this case, get it out the scrubs, Man, you got to be able to adapt. Point blank, period. That's a fact. Hey, maybe I can rhyme a little bit. Anyway, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Join the royal family. Like the video. This has been a message brought to you by the good people over here at Spree ENT. And it's going to all make sense real soon.